never felt like this before You gave me butterflies in my tummy like you do You just give me love and like I can only get from you, yeah They do it out of my lungs Cause you are the only one to give me butterflies in my tummy like Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Say hi, I'm babe. Cold. She's on. What's up, everybody? We are on our way to church this morning. We are. We woke up feeling blessed with life, and we need to definitely start doing this a lot more. I feel even guilty saying this, but it has been a really long time since we came to church. Well, we came about two no, weeks we came, ago. We came, we came like three weeks ago. Yeah, so. but Ulisa's has always been the one who has been more. Um, about like let's go to church let's go to church let's go to church and I have always just kind of not made excuses but it's just kind of like things come up so then we don't yeah. um, but now that we you know we have our little family and our family's growing and it's like we need to start picking up those good habits and we get blessed way too much on a daily basis not to come and at least be thankful for an hour of our damn days to just come and pray so yeah right, babe? And it's cool it's funny because uh, a lot of people don't know, but I used to be a... Yeah, I used to be a monaguillo. Monaguillo, which is like a altar boy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to be an altar boy when I was little, so I was doing yeah. that for like two years. I don't know, maybe three. There's, yeah, maybe there's three. a lot of pictures of Elisa's. So at my his... parents' house, actually we just came from there, but mm -hmm. um, there's like a bunch of pictures, so eventually we'll show you guys that. But yeah. I did my time. I served my time in the church, but I mean... And you know what's crazy? It feels good to come, so... And you know what's crazy? That... He was a monaguillo at the church that I used to go to when I was little. She probably did that Like, too. I know, but <laughs> we were meant to be since we were kids, babe. Destiny was going to bring us together no matter what. Yeah. Yes, but, but we just got here and we're running a little late. So, yeah, we're going to see you guys right now when we get out. Yeah. Sunday fun day with little Max. See poo. Max loves the pool. Max. He loves it. <laughs> Ooh, babe, it looks like you're in Hawaii. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna Don't put your... Say, get in here, daughter. Get in here. Don't be scared. It's not. You want to film with me? Max. Max, don't go. Babe, grab him. We're making pancakes this morning. Where's little Max? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so Max's favorite color is orange. You guys will always see him with an orange ball. Yeah? Let me see the ball. <laughs> Thank you. ¿Me la prestas? Gracias. <laughs> I'm trying to declutter Max's clothing like basically everything that does not fit him anymore I'm trying to like get all of his like little summer clothes sorry if I'm looking this way it's because it wasn't focusing um, this is going to be so hard I'm so sad that a lot of his little stuff like he outgrew already but summer's here and I need to make sure that Everything that I have in here is just clothes that he actually wears, except down there I have basically like his little jackets. Those are all super cute, so I'm going to keep those there just because they look, you know, really nice there. Um, and a lot of these jackets actually like his sister is going to be able to wear. Like this is a puffy jacket that like, a little girl can wear, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to go through all of these items here and then I'm going to go through his drawers. Rooftop in the middle of the city. One look can't get you out of my mind. We could go anywhere that you want to go tonight. Just open your eyes. we be up all night. And now the sun's coming up any minute, you know. I can't get you off my mind, girl I'm falling for the feeling in between us It's like, but we will never stop Loving all day 
loving all night, losing all time. You make this feeling so new. super sad that I'm like getting rid of all of these cute little clothes like look at these cute little shirts this is three to six months for Max and then his little reindeer for the winter like it's a lot of cute little clothes that I have that I really liked on him little boys well babies outgrow their clothes so fast and actually me duraron guys like me duraron because max he's long like he's really long um but he's flaquito like he's skinny you know like he's not he has his daddy's freaking body shape and um if you guys see baby pictures of Elisa's when he was little like he was always really long and skinny so like with max he fits in a lot of like the clothes still but his pantaloncitos like what i would have to roll them so they fit him like a little bit like that style where it's kind of like brinca charcos you know but then they also have they fit him really good like on the body and then if i buy him a bigger size like right now he's wearing 9 to 12 months 12 months still fits him big and he's gonna be 11 months already so nine months fit him perfect it's just like the the shape of them like Long, like lengthwise they fit him good but around the waist i have to like you know tie them up so that's like my problem with him my little situation that i got going on with him this is cute all this clothes uh, my mom usually all this clothes my mom usually donates it she sends it to mexico to like my cousins and stuff This is what he wore for his bautizo. Um, it's like this little shirt. He had little overalls, like little suspenders. I actually got it on Etsy. A lot of you guys were asking me where I got it at, and I got it at Etsy. On Etsy. I buy a lot of stuff on Etsy, actually. They have oh, a lot of cute custom stuff. If you ever, like, not, if you don't find anything um, at the stores or anything like that, even like little girl dresses, like tutus and stuff like that, if you guys don't find anything, go on Etsy because there's people who, like, hand make all of these things. Um, you know, you'll be able to get like a really good deal. These are all little shirts that he's gonna need. These are all 9 to 12 months. Let me put these here. Max has literally been living in shorts and he has all his cute little pantaloncitos here but I want him to be really comfortable like look I shop I bought all of Max's clothes at Zara or H&M they have like the best selection for baby boy clothes um, where they have like the skinny jeans for them and the nice boot cut that's where I get all of his little clothes. I wanted to do like a summer haul collection for you guys because I just picked up a shitload of cute clothes for him. 
like really really cute clothes for him for the summer like cute tanks for five bucks shorts all that good stuff i always get questions all the time where do i buy his clothes where do i buy his clothes where do i buy his clothes and i need to just start doing like haul videos Use the noise too you guys are probably wondering what the fuck that is they're pressure washing my house right now from the outside um because our homeowners association one second um they're pressure washing the house because our homeowners association they contacted us that we need to paint the outside of the house already not the actual outside just like the borders and stuff i already knew when we purchased the house that we have to paint it um I believe it hasn't been painted in like almost eight years, if I'm not mistaken. Eight or ten years. Um, probably longer. It has to be longer. Because I don't think they've even touched it up at all since the house was built. So, we need to do that. Thank God that my father-in-law does paint because, honestly, he has saved us so much money because this is what he does for a living so he's been able to kind of give us a little bit of a discount and uh, they're gonna start working on that hopefully by this week they'll be finished if I'm not mistaken I think he said that he would knock it down in like three days you guys about these little muscle shirts are five dollars at zara and i got a whole bunch of them i got a gray one i got this really cute one i got this one here because it matches these little guarachitos that i got him look how freaking cute these are ah he's gonna look so adorable oh runny nose so yeah so i got him those and I got him this really cute salmon color. And then there's three more, but he already wore them. And I got him this little tropical one. He actually left with Ulises right now. Ulises went to go get something done on the car, on the Lexus, because the check engine light came on. And I don't know what was going on with it. So he went to go get that checked out and he took a little Max with him. So I can just kind of clean up around here and get myself situated and also edit some videos that I had to edit because we've been super, super, super busy. So I'm also trying to finish off my master bedroom. I added those two frames on the side. The room has surround sound, so the two freaking little bocinas there are bothering me, but I'm gonna put this picture, which is our wedding picture, right at the top over there where it was on my bed before. And I have to fix the rug. I don't know if you guys can see, but like it keeps doing that for some weird reason and I have no idea why. Like it just does that. And I keep trying to put it in and then it comes keeps coming out. I don't know if it's just the actual material of the rug, but it's like really bothering me. Um, and then Lisa is going to put up the curtain rod on top so we can put these curtains. I bought these like really nice sheer curtains at Bed Bath & Beyond. So I am gonna get to editing right now. I have a whole bunch of stuff to do that I will be vlogging. You guys will be seeing it in my next vlog, but wanted to get this vlog up for you guys today and then of course you guys will get another vlog on wednesday but i hope you guys all enjoyed today's vlog thank you guys all so much for watching and i'll see you guys on wednesday love you guys rooftop in the middle of the city one look can't get you out of my mind